Hello everybody and welcome back to more Battle Brothers. I'm Liz and we are heading north to Stockendorf and then Torvaholm to see if we can get ourselves some better equipment. We've got 14 grand building built up and uh, burning a hole in our wallet. I want to see if we can get ourselves in maybe one, maybe two more suits of reinforced male hauberk or something similar. And maybe checking to see if we can do a weapon upgrade somewhere. Maybe we're close to getting a two-hander on somebody else too. I don't know. We'll find out. What's your contract? Let's talk money. What do you want? 530 crowns. Drive off brigands at the Thousand Spears camp east of Stockendorf. You know what? I am going to do this because it's a camp. Oh, it's in the mountains, but it's a camp. And a camp means we might get some good stuff. Unfortunately, it's in the mountains and... Oh, your armor is still in bad shape. How many tools do we need? Only nine more. 43 hours, though. Shit. Yeah, that sucks. Can I get an estimate on what their garrison here is? I doubt it, right? Maybe? Let's find out. Let's get closer. Get closer. Can we see the garrison? Many brigand raiders and a brigand leader. So yes, we are going to camp here. And we're going to wait for a little bit. We're probably camping a little too close to this. If they generate a party, it's going to hit us. But, uh, I mean, let's just do it. 13 hours, 6 tools. I've got plenty of food. We're just going to wait until we're fully repaired. And then we're going to attack this brigand camp. 8 hours, 4 tools. Update. 5 hours, 2 tools. 3 hours. 2 hours. 1 hour. It's done. All right, let's hit these many brigand raiders and a brigand leader on the foothills. They don't have any archers. Oh, before we hit them, though, let's double check. Are our weapons configured correctly? Yes. We have a net. We have a net. Yes, we do. We should bring a dagger. If there's a brigand leader here, we should have a dagger. Absolutely 100% for sure. So who should bring that dagger? I'm thinking maybe Wolfgang the Colossus should bring a dagger. Because he's got good base aim. 74 base aim. The other person with 74 is Jest. Yeah, you know what, Wolfgang? Do you actually have shield? No, you don't. You are a good candidate, I think, for a great axe. Melee defense, no range defense. But uh, yeah, you might be a good candidate for a great axe. I don't know yet. Um, great axes are so cumbersome to use. Like, hammers and swords are awesome. Because the hammers have this like sweep attack just like the sword does, and the sword has you know multiple AOE sweep attacks. But uh... yeah, okay, you're gonna get a dagger because you got really good base aim, and with this dagger you can like use your puncture attack to not uh, hit his armor. I I don't mind doing some damage to his armor, but uh, I want to know like I want to see if we can maybe get something from him. Is this the leader? He's got a great sword. He has a uh, reinforced male hauberk. So let's hit him in the head, let's hit him with puncture, and try and get that great sword as well. That's basically our objective here. We are already on the high ground. Uh, we have high ground here. We've got double high ground here, which is sort of painful. I kind of prefer to be up a little bit further. And we have high ground here, but it's even ground there, so I prefer to be fighting from here. So tell you what, let's back up one. They have no archers, so it's just free reign to shoot this warbrand, basically. Okay, that didn't work out so well. And where do you want to be? You want to be here, I think. No, I actually want you one further back. Yeah, we want this archer one further back as well, because we want our pikes on this row. We want our melee people on this row. Uh, and then, yes, you're still free reign on the war. Uh, maybe not. Not now. Military pick, dual wielded military pick. Yeah, let's take that out then, if that's the case. And yeah, I want our these dudes to be on this level. You can get up here, that's fine. I'm going to want you to get up to here, actually, because you're an axe user. And you want to be back one from here. You go here. 
Yeah, then you can hit them on this tile when they're in the low ground, and that's good. So you want to be in here. Actually, this is okay. This surrounds this tile, and he's got this tile in front of him. That's not bad. I should probably put you here then, if that's the case. And then we gotta put somebody on here to keep them from coming up. I guess that works. We can't attack down too, so... That's a thing. Oh, where do you want to be then? You want to be right there. And so you're not going to get right there this turn, so you're just going to have to, you know, buck up, basically. They can get up here. You're fine there. That should be good. You're good here. That's perfect. That actually locks this tile down, too, so you're going to move to here. We just need to move this archer back. There. And now Ulf is going to move into that slot. You can hit any of these three tiles, so that's perfect. You can't hit over here. Ulf can maybe do that, but he'd have to stay up here to accomplish that. Or go here, and that's dangerous too. Damn. Damn, damn. Oh well. I mean, you can hit here, you can hit here. And if I need to hit somewhere else, I'll figure it out along the way. Ulf. Where do I want you? I'm going to put you here for now, Wolf. And rally, please. Let's uh, build this guy's morale up a little bit. We do have an opening here, but it's okay. I do want you on this tile. I do want you on this tile, I think. Yeah, stay together. I do want you here because you defend both angles. And this is fine. Yeah, I know they could come up here by coming up from this. That's fine. We'll see what we can do against that. I might actually have to move you down to deal with this Warbrand then. I was hoping to put a little more hurt on him. We're not going to do a whole lot of damage against that male Hauberk. The Warbrand, we don't have a good shoddy shot on from here. Although we could come over here and you could just take pot shots on people from there. You actually wouldn't be able to shoot. I do want to be able to move these guys down though. So no, no, we'll take shots on you for now. Good hits. Mr. Warbrand, I would like to kill you, but I don't want to stand such that you're going to attack through. So you need to be here if we're going to do that. You can't be there. They can't get through. Your arc attack would hit these three, so that's not going to hit us. So yeah, we're okay there. We should be alright. Um, until Mr. Greatsword comes up, at least 75% though. Uh. That's a good hit. And shield wall with your other, because I don't need to be hit by a war brand. You've got throwing axes out. I don't like your throwing axes. So we're going to put the hurt on that. Uh, your flail... This is the guy who doesn't have any armor, too, which sucks. Uh, if I move... Okay, no, this... Yeah, yeah, no, we move. We definitely move here. We've got a... Uh, we do not have... How do we not have... Oh, we're not fucking close enough. Oh my god, my depth perception. It fails me. Yeah, that move was a mistake. That's okay. I guess you're not really needed here, are you? So you can move down and assist here. <laughs> Morale this guy and start putting the herd on him. I'm going to need you to come in here anyway. Uh, we need Wolfgang available to deal with this guy in the future. Um, let's move all the way up to here. You can swing on both of these guys, which is good. He is going to do something else, so you do need to stay up here for now, Edmund. I'm going to move you into this tile for now. He's going to get locked down here because of your zone of control. And you don't have a hit from here. You could rotate in and you can take a swing. Or I can move you here and take a swing. Would he be able to hit through us? No, he would be able to start an arc attack on us though. And he'd be relatively safe to do so. So I don't think we do that. We can move down here, but then he could start his attack on you. And he'd be relatively safe to do so. And he can hit through us to hit our sword back there. So no, Wolfgang, you do not move. You stay put until we deal with this guy. 
where can you go? You'll be hit through him. There. Oh, maybe you should have moved so that I could have moved Ulf in there. Well, then Ulf move here and swing <sighs> at him and kill him and morale them. Excellent. Yeah, Wolfgang probably should have moved after all. All right. That looks like it's it. We will have Wolfgang move back one, I think. For now. And then you can move into here, Ulf. Good. Next turn, you've got a good hit on this Warbrand. And we can help bring it. Wow, you took a hit from below. Holy shit. The Great Sword is upon us. And we're actually taking some morale against the Great Sword. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. We've got a 17%, and we could miss and hit them. You know, we got a 47 on him. Let's just take a 47 when it presents itself, right? 68. No hit. That's unfortunate. Good. We needed those because you did take a lot of damage previously. 42. That's a kill. We kind of needed that too because now you're free to help us in other positions. Will this be safe against any of their great swords? For the time being, yes. Currently, though, the great sword can hit through us. So we do need to be aware of that. And Ulf is probably going to have to fall back again as a result. When does Greatsword act? Not till after us, that's for sure. 21, 27 could hit us by accident. At least shooting this guy, we're not going to hit us by accident. Good two hits, that's nice to see. If you move down, he can swing through us here, and you act in eight turns, you act in... Your turn is done. Alright, so you're going to move down here. You don't have quick hands, but I'm going to put your dagger on. And on the next turn, you're going to start puncturing this guy if you can. He swings through this way, he hits Ulf. He swings through this way, he hits Havard. He does an arc attack on us, he hits these two currently. Yeah, alright, so that's dangerous. We need to deal with this situation. And we're going to come around behind to help deal with it. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. I don't mind destroying his head armor. His body armor we want to keep intact, though. But we just dented his body armor pretty bad. Surrounds on these are so dangerous. Go for the head. No hit. Oh, uh, we've almost broken that armor. Ah! And then you fall back, right? Yeah, you fall back now. I can't afford to keep you in there. It's too dangerous given the situation. Also, you need to relocate as well to here. That'll be okay. All right, we are going to take some hurt this turn. Oh, he didn't hit any of us. What's the Warbrand going to get? Warbrand gets one attack. He, he does single attacks. One of them hits. Not exactly a critical hit. Good snipey snipe kill. I like to see that. Yeah, sure. You can go here to support. That's not going to be in range of an attack. Wow. Um, I do need this guy dead. I also need the Warbrand dead. But if we don't kill this guy, then Otto could be in serious trouble. And now go for him, too. Very good. Puncture, please. Oh, one more. Oh, for fuck's sake. If we can hit him in the head, we might be able to kill him. He's retreating. You need to kill this guy. His armor is still in good shape. Like, his armor's not gone yet. If I hit him, I'm almost definitely going to take out his armor, right? Like, almost definitely. I could flail him. If I flail him, 
I have a chance of hitting him in the head and doing enough damage to make him dead without hurting the armor. So, we're going to hold on here. Oh, a hit there would have been good. What did we, did we injure him? We must have. Cut artery. That's not going to break him. Yeah, we're going to flail this guy and try and headshot him. That's one. Oh, crap. Uh, what can I do to make this happen? I can't really do anything necessarily to make this happen. I can move in and take the hit with you, but what are you going to hit is the question. I'm going to move into here and take the hit with you here to go for the kill. Then I'm going to have you back off again. Well, he is going to retreat, so he is going to take a hit. The question is, will that hit kill him? <laughs> we broke his armor. Crap. Well, we're not getting the armor, ladies and gents. We got the greatsword, though. Oh, yes, we got the greatsword, though. So that's good. I mean, it's better than nothing. I was kind of hoping to get that armor as well, but I mean, you take what you get, right? When you get the opportunity to pick up a great sword like that, it's uh, it's definitely worth, definitely worth. And now we're still dealing with you, 52. Hey, good job, Edmund. So Wolfgang the Colossus gets a level up. Evald the dog gets a level up. He must be like level 10 now. Wolfgang is getting close too. Oh, we have to switch Wolfgang's weapon back. 272 crowns, a great sword, an arming sword, various other armors. We got a leather lamellar armor. That's interesting. Uh, nothing really fantastic. 272 crowns and that great sword are pretty good though. Pretty good. Uh, return to Stockendorf. It never gave me a little post whatever screen thingamabobber. Oh shit, there was a brigand leader here, so we could get waylaid on the way back. There is an event where you get attacked on the way back um, when you kill a brigand leader. So let's get our people equipped. Wolfgang as well. You. Should get yourself some fatigue. Uh, if range defense was better than one, you should get yourself fatigue, even if it's not the best role in the world. Um, melee skill and melee defense, because it's plus three. And then what's your final ability? Well, it's not your final ability, but what's your, what's your ability here going to be? Is it going to be headhunter, since you use axes? Well, if I do get you in a two-handed axe, then headhunter is not going to matter so much. Because you're going to hit their heads anyways. The splitting attack hits their heads. Quick hands would be really good. You could switch between it and like a long axe, for example, and you could do multiple kinds of things. Reach advantage is going to be absolutely necessary for you in that case. What else could we maybe get you? Berserk is already super good. Steel brow... Steel brow, right? I think we want steel brow on you either way. Yeah, we're gonna get steel brow. Wolfgang the Colossus has just got even tankier, and the other level up, Eel level up, is Evil the Dog, plus four. Oh my God, you guys have been getting amazing rolls on your range. I mean, you got two stars, so that's to be expected. And yeah, I think that's gonna be plus three range defense as well, and plus three fatigue. Congratulations, sir. Now that you got quick hands, you're going to get footwork so that you can get out of those orc ambushes. Good. Very good. Let's return to Stockendorf and hope we don't get waylaid along the way. Ba, ba, ba. No event, no event, no event. No event. No event! No longer has ambush trade routes, 530 crowns. That means we can buy some peat bricks, right? Yep, we can get good price on peat bricks. I'll take it. Um, 
Let's get some grains. It's, you know, standard price. That's fair enough. No other contracts. No anybody for hire. They actually have a bunch of people here now for hire, including a poacher. Intriguing. Well, I don't want a poacher, so I'm not going to get a poacher, but that is still intriguing. Let's head north to Torvalholm, because that was our objective. And we'll see what we can find there. It's going to be night by the time we get there, which is unfortunate. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, oh, no, we got there in the dusk. Nice. So, let's see who's available for hire here. Retired soldier. Bad fatigue. Uh, Wolfman. A wild man, but yeah, you know what I mean. A brawler, that's cool. A deserter, a bastard. Edmund Cuckchild. <laughs> Edmund Cuckchild. With a wife cursed by a witch, Edmund's father gave himself to another woman to continue the bloodline. Thankfully, for much of his life, Edmund knew not that he was a bastard. Wow, so he never knew he was a bastard for a long time. Cool. Uh, regular marketplace. Cheap dogs. Don't want. I do want both of these tools. I got lots of ammo. No need for that. I would have liked some better food. You know what? I will pay the premium on smoked ham. price on this is good so we need to sell here too let's go ahead and sell our shit here while we're at it no we're not selling that we're gonna repair that sell this sell these military picks that guy right there I think I picked up another one of these didn't I I did pick up another one of these we will sell this one actually that was a heater shield that I just sold whoops it days is we're gonna sell this and then the quaffs and the helmets and the armors. There we go. 14,915 down to stock. They have a bill hook here for cheaper than normal because it's 97%. That's intriguing indeed. Also a war cleaver, a military cleaver rather, if we want to go with that. Not as effective against armor, but you know, big, inf big bleeding and uh, big damage if you can get through the armor. They could be pretty good. Flat top helmet, 125. No. All right, that's all that's there. But they have both a weaponsmith and an armor. At the armor, what do we got? We got a lot of helmets available, that's for damn sure, including a full helm, so that's another 3,000 helm, if, or 300 helm, rather, if we wanted. Uh, closed flat top with mail, 280, for a little bit of a discount. Flat top closed mail with closed mail for 265. Uh, flat top with mail, that's a 230 for 2500 cash bucks. That's not bad. 250 for, for 3100. 2100 for 215. A 240 for 28. Sorry if this is blah 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 blah, just a whole bunch of prices going on. So we have scale armor available, and I am at the point where I would consider this, or I would just buy two reinforced male hauberks, potentially. Um, so what do I need to get? Like, who can, who, who has the fatigue to spare? Ulfurt probably could handle a little bit more fatigue. Especially if we ended up giving him a heater shield instead, because heaters are less fatigue, right? Yeah, 14 instead of 16 for heaters. Wolfgang. Yeah, you know what? We could get Wolfgang better armor and a better helm and maybe a great axe. I wouldn't necessarily mind that. Jest is in pretty good shape. He could maybe use a better helm, but it, it mostly matches his stuff. We could use better armor on Torleaf. Actually, this is probably adequate armor for Wolfgang, too. If we got a better armor, we could hand me down his armor to Torleaf. And then Edmund could use some better armor. Yeah, so if I bought one set and then one of the others, you know what? I am going to do it. I am going to go ahead and get ourselves... Do we want scale, though? I think we want scale. It's just better than the harness, like in both ways. That's over 9,000, though. That's a lot of money. You know what? 
no, we're gonna buy two of these good guys right here instead. And then we're gonna go to the weaponsmith and take a peek. So I'm immediately noticing a two-handed hammer available and no great axe. So that's a, that's a long axe. So we're not going into that yet. And I don't have a hammer master, although I want to get a hammer master. I like a couple. I like a couple big sword masters too. Okay, so that's a thing. That's a thing indeed. All right, let's outfit ourselves because we can get uh, not you, Torleaf here into better armor. And he has 68 fatigue left over. That's fine. He doesn't have brawny yet either. So Torleaf, as soon as you level up, you're getting brawny, I think, and you're going to be in pretty good shape. You're wearing heavy armor. Well, this is pretty heavy. Without brawny and not totally dying. That's impressive, sir. You must have brawny already, right? You go down to 70, yeah. You definitely have it. That's why you were affected so hard by that, Torleaf. Um, then we got Scale here, and then Ulfert here has Brawny. Can't really afford to do better than this at the moment. 71 fatigue, yeah. He can't really afford to do better than this at the moment. But if he gets a little more fatigue and we get Wolfgang's Scale Armor, then he can get um, his hand-me-down. All right, that's not bad. This should be adequate for now. Uh, I would love to have somebody else get into that sword. And you guys are all shield experts over here, as are you. Wolfgang is not, you are not, you are. You are not, so I'm gonna need a new person, really, if I wanna get somebody into that sword. Hmm. Huh. Well, what I can do for now is repair it and repair this. We'll keep them around. We'll keep some armor on us. That's fine. No contracts available here. And I think we are all set, are we not? Cheers! Okay, so we need to find out what to do, and I would like what we do not to be just moving back down here again, because reasons. So, they took Tobimus from us, they are just dominating, like this faction here is dominating the map. Honestly, I don't mind if they take over this stuff, I just need Dregrafen to be, and Weissenfels and Kallenberg to be a good deal all around. We took Kallenberg back though, that's interesting. So Horn, well not Horn, um, House whatever this is, the people who control Liedersburg are not in a good way right now. We have relations recovering with them. So that's fine. Stockendorf is allied still. Tobimus is still unfriendly with us, but that's okay. Weissenfels is very friendly now, that's good. I'm amazed Dregrafen has not gotten better with us, with all the stuff we've done for them and all the trade we brought in. So my question now is, are we equipped enough to go after those orcs? And the reason I ask it is because we don't really have a lot of good weapons for fighting orcs. I'd like to get a fighting axe for Torleaf and noble swords maybe. Like, we've seen how unreliable Hagen's sword is, and he doesn't have the melee defense to really fight orcs. Our back row would be pulling most of the weight, I think. We can fight anything except for orc warriors from the orcs. I, I, I don't know if we can fight orc warriors very effectively. Well, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. And this is probably going to be it for me playing Battle Brothers for at least a couple days. It's Sunday, May 8th. And um, I've been playing this game. This is like the fourth or fifth day I've played Battle Brothers. I'm up to 51 videos now. Holy crap. And Factorio runs out of backlog on Tuesday. So I'm going to have to put like a solid day of Factorio in. 
get like another two weeks of videos for it basically and go forward so I'm probably gonna be playing Battle Brothers again in another couple days doesn't matter to you guys this video is almost two months after I actually recorded it unless I start doubling up like publishing two a day uh, but until next time thanks for tuning in and we'll figure out what we're gonna do then I'll see you later